call tonight's select board meeting to order. And to my left is Joe Stahl and Carla Nuizo. And to my right is Tor Nelson. And are there any additions to the agenda tonight? Uh, we do. We're going to remove the 72 Highland Avenue damage. And we're going to remove the purchasing policy and conflict of interest policies. And we're going to add an executive session for legal. And just a second. Dave, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay, thanks. We have David Delcor on Zoom and Orca Media. And I'm Flo Smith. So we have the two removals. Are we putting them on a future? meeting or just removing the uh, The 72 Highland Avenue, the owner says they can be told to remove. Okay. The two policies will be on the future. Excellent. Thank you, Tula. Any public comment? <coughs> Hearing none, we'll Come on, move public. <laughs> How are you? And the next item on the agenda is the Pine Hill Drive concerns. I don't see any of my neighbors here tonight, um, but this actually was put on the agenda uh, per my uh, forwarding of information from my neighbors, which has been forwarded to Tour and to Tim. And, um, you know, I thought some of my neighbors might be here tonight, but basically what the topic was, was the spillover of stones throughout the winter time that went on to people's lawns. And we have a non-paved road, which eventually will be paved. Um, we postponed it, so it was originally gonna be paved this year, and it will be futuristically. So my neighbors are aware of that, but there were four to five neighbors um, that were concerned. Some of them did the work themselves to remove the stones, and some of them paid to have them removed. And I explained to them we're short staff and that it wasn't done intentionally. And um, they're not, um, you know, super upset, but they are concerned because it's happened in past years and it's been improved. So they wondered if we as a town would come in and do any of the cleanup. And like I said, I indicated that we were short staff. We also have a pothole on Pine Hill Drive. So those were just the concerns. Uh, one neighbor said it took seven hours to do the repairs. Um, some of them did it themselves, and they said it was just backbreaking work. So that's the reason it's on the agenda, and that's the information that I have to share. I don't know, Tim, if you think there's anything that can be done, or if it will mostly be resolved once it's paved. Well, yeah, once it's paved, it won't, you won't get any dirt off the road. Right, and that's what I've told uh, them as well. I just... It happens everywhere. Like you plow dirt, you get dirt off the road. We put dirt down when we sand, and it gets caught in the snow, and it goes off the road. Mm -hmm. But I also thought that you know, two years ago we had this same thing, and it was run through the board. That you know, I mean, we don't do lawn work. We don't. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, is, is we it we would never. Yeah, it's just gravel off the road, oh, and so then. It's not you know, like no. No, not it's because just no, the it's raking the, is it's what's the backbreaking. Right. Okay. During the winter it's just season. There's a little bit of sand and gravel that gets yeah. scraped off the mm -hmm. road in the warmer days and whatever. Especially this past winter. Yeah. Where we had numerous thaws that the whole top of the road thawed out and then you know, you catch a little gravel here and there and you plow it off and it all goes in the snowbank and mm -hmm. Snowbank's got to go to the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely it wasn't intentional by no <clears throat> means, and they understand that. But one of them indicated, and it's true, that the stones actually went about five feet up on. So why yeah. some of them either did the work or paid for it themselves is they were worried about the deadening of the grass yeah. if it didn't happen. So yeah, I mean the snow gets thrown mm -hmm. long ways right. from the plows. You know what I mean? They're designed to. <laughs> throw the snow, you know, right. away from the road. I, I couldn't tell you how many feet, you know what I mean? It depends on variable speed, but there's not a lot of speed on that road. But, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It doesn't take a lot for snow to go. Well, I appreciate five, you six, listening to the concerns. Five, feet across, away from the side of the road. Absolutely. 
And like I said, you know, I've just brought forward in the email and the conversation tonight just what was posed to me and their concerns because this year they felt that not only did it happen again, it was more extensive, and they realized we had a really odd winter last year as well. Um, I wouldn't say that it was no worse than anywhere else, I, I guess is what I can add to that. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know what I mean? It's, it happens yeah. on every dirt road that we have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we, we as a highway department cannot rake their lawns off. Like, we would never get anything done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If it took them seven hours and it took us that long, I mean, when are we supposed to ditch? Haul gravel in the springtime, mm -hmm. fix mud, grade roads, like, so. I think the consensus was just what could we respectfully do to maybe keep it from happening each year and I think truly based on the conversation it tonight cold all winter and it freezes <laughs> out. Like, I, I, I don't know what else to tell you on that aspect of things it's like you know what I mean it's, the paving is definitely going to help there's no doubt well, about yeah, that well yeah you won't get any gravel mm -hmm. but you might you know what I mean I, there's all the shoulders that took you but yeah. anyway it, it comes with living on the side of the road. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, it's the same for people that pay to have their driveway plowed. You know I mean? Yeah. If they get tore up plowing driveways. You catch the side of the driveway, you roll some sod up. You, you know what I mean? It's, That's it's, for sure. It is part of winter maintenance. Right. And what about the pothole? What well, is your get thoughts there? Tomorrow, probably. Okay. But, Very good. I'll let them you know. You know what I mean? Again, mm -hmm. the potholes are. You know what I mean? There, there's two potholes that are three inches deep. I went and looked at them, <laughs> but they're everybody drives that road like it's a one-lane road. They stay in the same wheel tracks all the time. Like, so you get that happens at the end of the blacktop everywhere. It's because you know I mean blacktop's hard, the gravel softer. You get some tire spin and it creates holes, but like. I mean, but that's gonna, you know I mean, that'll get fixed when it gets graded, and then it's on the schedule for tomorrow as long as everything else goes to plan. That's but it's great. like, you know, we do all our main drags first, and you know what I mean, unless they're real bad, mm -hmm. but like that's, you know I mean, for a quarter mile road, that loop, the two potholes, you know I mean, we have rows. Roads that are in worse shape that get taken care of Absolutely. first. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I would want that. So but I that's appreciate where that's it. At. Thank you very much. I think that's that on that topic, unless there's anything else anyone wants to ask or inquire about. Well, so I, I got a question. Do, do we need to make a policy for this so it doesn't, we don't have to every spring part of a conversation? You know what I mean? By all means, if we tear somebody's lawn up real bad, like we, we've done it in a couple spots, a truck goes off the road and it tears some stuff up where it involves equipment use, then yeah, we go back and we make it right because we're the ones that cause the damage. But, you know, the, the little bit of gravel that comes off the shoulders mm -hmm. in the winter plowing, you know, I mean, I don't... I don't believe it. I haven't seen that we have some sort of policy where we don't you know, clean up stones. I don't know what your guys' feelings are about it, but you know I mean it, I see no I reason wanna, that we can't discuss I don't want to have to you know what I mean I don't want everybody to have to come back every spring because somebody wants their lawn raped. Mm -hmm. But I'd also like I said, like if we cause major damage by all means, we will go back and we'll fix it. And I've seen you do that before. Yeah. In this case, in this year, there was the stonage and the, there was the roughing up of the sod and that was also on lawns as well. And I've seen you come back and correct those issues. And I know you did in past years too. Um, just wanted to bring those concerns forward and um, basically got all that information from them, which saved many emails coming to say to her or the town saying hey you know we did this 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 and this and i was glad they brought their concerns forward and i have no objection to talking or putting on a future agenda so that we could discuss the policy thank you thank you very much
Thank you. So next item up on the agenda is the sep uh, which we are removing the 72 Highland Avenue damage. So that is coming off of tonight's agenda. And next is the Dickey Dam. Um, I was hoping to have uh, Representative Montpelier with us, but I don't have it confirmed and nobody's joined in yet. Um, since we're quite a bit ahead yeah. on the agenda, um, why don't we pass over that if you wouldn't mind? Sure, sure. That is totally fine. I do, I have included in your packet though, and I have some of them in the uh, dam inspection report from the state uh, identifying some of the issues with it. Excellent. Thank you very much, yeah. Tor. Now we'll discuss, uh, we'll move over the Dickey Dam for now because it was on our agenda for 640 tonight and we are ahead of schedule. So the next item is the Tree Warden, Wilcox and Cemetery Commission Baginski appointments. Uh, so Dave Warden is our, I mean, Dave Wilcox is our Tree Warden. Um, this is an annual appointment we need to make and he's agreed to stay on for another year. And then Mike Baginski, his term on the Cemetery Commission has expired and he's agreed to stay on for another term. So I'm uh, move to make both of those appointments. Wonderful. Second that. On both? On both. Wonderful. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Tour. Next up on the agenda is the purchasing policy and conflict of Actually, interest. Actually, we're going to skip over that one, too. Oh, this is true. Yes, you said you're removing that as well. Thank you. Okay, and the licenses, permits, vouchers, applications, and warrants approval. Is this where you want the payroll? Yes, yep. please. Okay. Make the motion to pay payroll, payroll warrant 2426 for payroll from May 19th, 2024 to June 1st, 2024 to be paid on June 5th, 2024 in the amount of $65,453.20. Do you want the whole thing? No, yeah. you, you can do the whole thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, payable warrant 24G26 with check, check number 23981 to 24014 in the amount of $212,884.87. March 24th, Berlin Fire Department, second order. Do we hear a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Wow, we are zipping along here. Next on the agenda is the breath. approval of minutes. So you have two sets. The first is April 15th, 2024. Uh, I sent these out this morning. Just a little bit. Did make a few corrections from what was in uh, Kelly mailed out uh, last meeting. Make the motion to approve. Wait, which one are we approving? This is the one. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. For some reason, I didn't read those. Okay. No. Okay. That's all right. Is that okay? Yep. Make the motion to approve the minutes for the April fifteenth, two thousand twenty-four minutes, as presented. You second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. <clears throat> I have a couple. Changes on the other one. Yeah, spelling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and so page two, where we were talking about the state property, it says the owner. It's like it's in the big paragraph. The owner on the property has a wetland designation done. I think that's a delineation, not a designation. I think that's what we were getting at there. That makes sense. Delineation. Yeah. And then I actually I thought I had another one, but the one I, I highlighted. Oh no. Under annual emergency management, is this right? Shared, not shred. Yeah. And then 
I did have a question about what, on, under Department of Public Safety Risk Assessment, it says the Public Safety Department has asked for another one for another grant. I'm not sure what that means. Is it another they're doing a They're doing a separate risk assessment for another grant. Oh, so another risk assessment? Right. Oh, okay. Because apparently hard. they can't talk to each other. They're in the okay. Department of Public Safety. I get it. So we may want to just say another risk assessment, just because I wasn't sure what it meant. I was there. <laughs> um, and then I did question this idea that is probation and parole really encouraging or are they allowing? I'm just not, I'm just curious if they're encouraging people to camp on that homeless site. That is a very good question. Because I'm I, certain. I, I that's just what I've heard from the police department. Okay, well, it's, it's, yeah, that was just a question, I guess. Good question. It seems like they wouldn't encourage it, but maybe, but then maybe they're allowing, allowing it. it. But if that's what you were told, then that's what we. So if that's what was we'll set at the meeting. Yeah, then. that's what was set at the meeting. Was it? Okay, okay. that's helpful. Thank you. Okay, I'll we'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as amended. Second. A second. Thank you. All those in favor? I, I have them here to remove my notes. I just take those. Aye. 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 Did you have some spelling ones? What's that? Did you have some spelling errors? Um, yeah, she picked up on oh, shred. Okay. Should be shared. And actually, I think it's second paragraph down. Uh, my last name spelled wrong. And it is. <sighs> third line down, last. Last word, so S T A B. Two A's. Page three. Good stab? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make sure to ask you about water tonight. I'm not sure. I always figure if they're gonna put me in the spotlight, that would spell my name. So I'm gonna move forward with round table now because we're still pretty far ahead of schedule in terms of when we put on the agenda for the Dickey Dam. So I'll start with you, Joe. Um, Nothing at this moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, a couple things. Um, we've received an email that the CV, CV fiber and the NEK broadband are have agreed on a merger. Of the two uni union communications district, there will be a public hearing on July sixteenth, twenty twenty four, uh, to discuss the merger. I don't have a time or location or anything like that, um, but there'll be more on that forthcoming. Excellent. Can I, is is how does that affect us? Sorry, do we use we. Appoint representatives oh, okay. on the board of oh, okay. which we're board still of directors, and then don't they have equipment in the fire station? No, Riverton. That never happened. No, they, okay. they talked about it. Okay. We're yeah. still looking for an appointment for that position as well. For an alternate. Alternate. Sorry. For an alternate. Yeah. Uh, the local options tax uh, charter change was signed by the governor last week. Uh, we we're working with the tax department on uh, implementation schedule, but as of right now, it is not in effect. So I shouldn't be charging that yet. Uh, then Officer Collier uh, graduated from the police academy last week. Uh, congratulations, congratulations to him. To and, uh, I'd like to welcome him on board with the department. That's wonderful. I saw the announcement on the Town of Berlin website. I thought that was really oh, wonderful. Oh. There's beautiful pictures there no, and have to go look. an article. I saw the story on the news about yeah. graduation, but I didn't see that. I just saw it today. I think that's wonderful. Thank you very much to her for all of that. So you'll let us know the time on the C V fire. Like okay. Wonderful. Excellent. Anything, Joe, now? You no. said not at that time. Okay. All right, we will move back to Vicki Dam or we can go into executive session, whichever is preferred because we are 20 minutes 
about ahead in terms of when we were going to discuss Dickie Dan? Um, I think we just go ahead and talk to get a session and we'll reschedule it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another meeting. Makes sense. But entertain enough. Uh, so this will be a two-parter motion. Uh, first, I find, move it. I move to make a specific finding that premature general public knowledge would clearly place the town at a substantial disadvantage regarding the police union contract and probable civil litigation to which the town may be a party. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, I move to enter into executive session for a police union contract agreement under 1 VSA 313A1B and legal probable civil litigation under 1 VSA 313A1E and invite the town treasurer. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I do expect um, action when we come out of the executive session. Thank you, Tour. We have now come out of executive session. I move to table Article 52 on critical incidents uh, so that we can work on some typos in the language. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I move to adopt Article 53, the Teamster Legal Defense Fund, as presented. All those in favor? Right, need oh. a second. Need a second. Uh, yes, a second, please. <laughs> second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I think that's it for tonight. So okay. Okay, I move to adjourn. Discussion? Hearing none, uh, do I hear a second for second. tonight's meeting? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. We're adjourned. Aye.